Ah. I'm Arthur Roach, Director of Research at Parkinson's UK, and I'm here at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford. This is the center for a large uh, clinical study. This is uh, actually a very easy way to participate in research, um, even for people who don't have Parkinson's. Ah. I'll stop there. I'm impressed. That is the longest that we've ever had. The main aim of this research is to develop simple bedside and other tests that we call biomarkers that will firstly diagnose Parkinson's with a better degree of accuracy and at the earliest stage possibly. And secondly, that will pre predict the future for an individual at diagnosis. That is why we need people like you who don't have Parkinson's to compare all of our results to. To see what's happening in Parkinson's, you have to be able to, if you like, subtract what happens with normal aging in the general population. So there's always a need for, for participants both with Parkinson's and, and without Parkinson's. I was a regular blood donor until recently. Yeah. And then for a while in Toronto, I was giving, uh, what was it, platelets, I think? Do you think that you sort of take part in these things because you know the value of it? Scientific. I'm not thinking, oh, I want to see a scientific truth emerge. I'm thinking, you know, people will benefit from this. And, uh, you know, someone's got to do it, and I can do it easily. And uh, sure, let's do it. Anyone, 90, 89, 80, uh, 8, <laughs> 87, 86, 85. Sierra, stamp, sample, soap, um, scamper, scampy. <laughs> Uh, okay. Pear, plum, peach, or pineapple? <laughs> That's pear, 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 pear plums, plum, peach. peach. Or pineapple. What does a plum smell like? Yeah. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. And go. I'm supposed to be doing like a race, doing as many as I can. Well, I'm going to go with your left-handed, because that's kind of what we've said. What did you do it in your patient mind? Why do I bother? Okay. Okay, and now we're going to swap. You're going to make movements with your left hand. Yeah. You feeling deaf yet? <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't hard to do. It actually was kind of fun to do. I mean, the people were nice, and uh, it's a bit of a game to, to do those exercises and see how fast you can, uh, how quickly you can do them. So yeah, it was, it was fun, actually. Wow, he's going for it now. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Absoluclin is a protein which is found throughout the brain. If we can stop it moving from one affected cell to the next affected cell, you can stop it before there's any signs of any problems. You need people like me who are prepared to become guinea pigs at the end of the day. And I know it doesn't sound particularly nice to all being guinea pig, but they can only learn by people like us.